Right, so first day of soccer strength and conditioning. Uh, today we're going to be working on that small step speeds, that fast change of direction. To start with, we've got our warm-up that's going to be the same for most of our activities that we do outdoors. So get it into your head now so you don't have to watch this video too many times. So all you need is a little bit of space to step into. Um, a couple of markers. If you've got cones or anything like that, great. If you haven't, use a sock, use a toy, anything you want. Um, we'll also need a soccer ball. And the main muscles that we're focusing on today are the lower part of our legs, so our calf muscles, um, and also the front of our legs. Uh, upper legs, so our quads and our hamstrings, those big powerful muscles. And the most important one, your bum muscles, so the, the powerhouse of the body if used properly. Set up simple, just set those markers shoulder width apart and then you're all good to go. So first part is waking everything up. So we're going to start with some squats, moving into some lunge, uh, lateral lunges, and then some single leg squats. All of these are going to be stepping into, so we're just constantly moving throughout, nothing too static. Main things I'm looking for is that you're keeping your upper body up, lower body low, and we're bending from the hips, not just the knees. So come down to your range. I'm quite flexible, so I can go down quite low. But whatever feels comfortable for you, as long as that heel's going into the floor on the way down and then driving up into the toes. So you can see I'm putting loads of intent from the bottom of the squat, powerful up into the air. Moving on to those lateral lunges, so a little bit more mobility now. So what we're aiming to do is to sit those hips as far across as we can. If you can, it wants to be at least level with your knee and your ankle. If not, no worries. Just aim to get it out as far as you can. And again, that explosive intent from the bottom. And just go down to your range. You can see here from the side as well, really trying to sit those hips back into the heel. And the upper body's trying to stay nice and tall, nice and braced the whole time. Onto the single leg squat. So adding that little bit more balance now. Obviously, you're taking all of your body weight onto one side. So it's really important that we get that hip across further out than our shoulder. That just saves us rolling out on that ankle. And that goes to the more dynamic movements as well. So getting a bit of spring into your step. So we're going to wake up the lower part of the leg. We've just uh, built a bit of mobility through the whole of the lower body, embracing the upper body. So now we're going to get some explosiveness through our calves and the lower part of our leg before moving up higher again. So on these walks, stay as tall as you can to start with, up on the tiptoes, back into the heels, and then we'll do a few different ranges through our legs as well. So quarter squat and full depth squat, just so we're going through all the different ranges in our feet. Onto the slams, so try and resist using the rest of your body, just literally up and down through the ankle. So we're really trying to isolate that group. And then onto the ankle bounces, so we're trying to aim straight up into the air, toes up, slamming into the floor. After that it gets a little bit more difficult because we're taking all of our body weight onto one side, alternating in single leg. Try and stay in one spot if you can as much of the time as possible. So you'll actually be able to see on this little bit here. So toes coming up nice and high and slamming into the floor. Onto these ankle bounces and everything else. We're trying to aim all that power right up into the air. Try and minimise that forward movement. It gets harder and harder, obviously, the more you go into the alternating and the single leg. So as you can see, even I'm moving around a little bit myself. Right, so that is the main part of the warm-up done. Now we get into the skill-specific stuff. So today we're working on scissors as part of our uh, quick change of direction. So we're going to go from slow to speedy scissors. 
you're going to exaggerate that knee bend sitting into it and then we'll get more and more shallow and depend more on our lower part of our leg as we go through so you can see i'm really bending into it slow-mo scissors and as we go through i get a little bit taller and start to really push off from the inside of the foot so we're landing inside resisting the outside of the foot landing so you can get that spring out of the big toe So next bit, little challenge. So get an interval timer. You can get this on any app stores. Um, basically going to set the timer for three sets, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest in between. Once you've done your first set, you get to rest for 60 seconds. Then we're going to repeat it two more times through. If you count your scissors throughout the whole set, you can aim to beat it each round. So here's just a little example of the interval trainer I use. Nice and simple, really easy to set up. Just make sure you've got the volume nice and loud so you can hear the starter. So I'm always keeping that slight knee bend, trying to land off the inside of my foot, pushing off before the outside lands. If you get lost, just keep going. That's it, so 10 seconds rest. You can see I've got a cone underneath my soccer ball. That's just because I'm working on a little bit of a slant outside. If, uh, if you don't need the cone, then don't worry about it. It's just to keep the ball still. That's it, last round. Brilliant. This little bit here is just where you can transfer those skills. As you can see down the bottom, you can even try your challenge on the Top Techers app. Um, there's a scissor challenge in there. So hopefully all the stuff that we're doing through this video is going to help you progressively beat that score. So a couple of little examples. Just dribbling with the ball on the move so it starts to get a little bit more realistic, even though we're not probably going to do that many scissors unless we're uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. But it's nice to have that ball on the move and keep our body over the ball as we're doing our scissors. Another little example, just using the cone as a, as a static defender, just working my way towards it and timing my scissor. So I'm deep down into one side before pushing off and taking that ball into the other direction. And that's it for today. So coming up tomorrow, training day two, we're going to be working inside, doing a little bit more striking strength, so an indoor activity, and we'll be working through some progressive exercises to really build up that striking strength through the muscles that you'll be using. Hope you enjoyed yourselves.